Welcome back to another DaVinci Resolve video editing tutorial. In this video, we're going to be adding effects to video clips. So I have a few clips I'm going to drag in here. I'll just drag in a couple different ones and we'll apply some uh, effects to these. So to get to the effects, we click on Effects Library up here and it'll turn white and that shows us it's active. Then we just have to find it. So here it appears down here and it can appear differently for you depending on what all you have opened up. So if we have our media pool and we click effects library, now it appears on the top. So it really just depends. Um, if it's selected just by itself, it'll be full side on the bar. So just kind of be aware of that. Um, maybe play around toggling different ones. But when effects library is white, it'll be somewhere over here on the left hand side. And this can all be rearranged too. It can appear really anywhere we want it to. If we click this button here, it gets rid of the tab on the side. So we can toggle whether we're showing video transitions, titles, or audio effects. And so if you're not seeing any options there, you can just click this uh, little icon to make that appear. So we're going to be going on to open effects for these effects. And then we have an option for filters here. And it's just resolve effects. So it's really just one. I think that's just in the DaVinci Resolve, is it called the light version, the free version? So there's probably more um, options here if you have the full version. Um, let's go ahead and go back to our media pool and let's drag in uh, a video clip here. And then under effects, we can see all kinds of different things. So we can do like just a box blur. If we drag this left, left click and drag it on top of the video, we see that it just blurs out uh, the video. Um, then to see the effects, so if we want to take that off, we can hit control Z right away. But maybe we added this box blur and then we added like a zoom blur and then we did like this color compressor. So if we have all of these on here, you might be wondering where we find these effects that are active. And to do that, we click on this inspector in the top right hand corner. When we click inspector, it brings up some different options about the video. We have, um, in fact, we'll cover this in the next video, but we have ways we can transform and, uh, you know, change the video around, do some cropping. But uh, we'll reset both those. To find out the effects, we click on open effects and it tells us the effects that are applied to this clip right now. So we have a box blur. We can click this uh, trash icon to delete, and now delete the box blur. We have a zoom blur, so we have settings we can apply to the to the effect that's happening. But also we can just click the delete to get rid of it. And then we have this color compressor. I'm not exactly too familiar with this, but it looks like it's changing some color here. So we can also delete that, and now we have no effects. And we see the open effects doesn't even appear anymore. We just have audio and video. So I'm going to delete this clip, click on it, hit the delete key. I have no clips. Let's drag in another clip here. We'll do this one right here. And again, so we're in our effects library. I'm going to get rid of the media pool now so I can just see the effects library larger. And let's scroll down and look at some of these effects. I'll show you, I think this lens blur is one, for example. If we try to apply it, yeah, it just comes up and says, you have reached a limitation with DaVinci Resolve. So this is one of the limitations you'll run into where it's like if you would like to do this, if you want to work with resolutions higher than UHD, if you want to use some of these um, more advanced effects, you got to pay $300 for the full version of DaVinci Resolve. So you can say by now, you can say not yet, but it shows a little watermark. So it applies the effect, but then it watermarks it with this. And so we'll come over here and get rid of that. Um, and again, if you're not seeing these options, you have to click Inspector to be able to see that. And the inspector is nice because it'll actually show you options with all kinds of stuff. If we click on the audio track, it switches over to audio. Click on the video track, it switches over to video. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you in this video. There's lots of different effects we can apply. So I'll go ahead and play with these. There's some pretty extreme ones. To change the settings, we just go over here under open effects and we can change the settings of the effect. You can apply multiple at once. And just be aware that how to get rid of that, we just click on the delete and then we adjust the settings for the effect over here under the Open Effects tab. And again, the Open Effects tab will only appear when we have an effect there. So hopefully you found this informative. Go ahead and play with some of those different effects. Get familiar with them, and we'll catch you in the next video.